No, I think it's a it's a lifetime of no, it's not a lifetime. It's a year <laughs> of bad bounces. Yeah. New feature. You ready? Right, golf. Oh, go on, go on. Golf confessions. That's a terrible drum roll. So basically, Great name for, a po- for a clip though. Basically, so, uh, yeah. Um, people can write in, email in. I don't know how to write in. We don't accept post. <laughs> but they can email in. Oh, no, I've lost the email. One sec. I've got it here. Right. They can email in their confessions, right, Rick? Okay. So. Whereas with dear Rick, at the end of the email, you give advice. If with this you feel like there's any needed, then feel free. But it's not really about that. It's more about somebody getting a confession off the chest. Because okay. they do say that when you get things off your chest, you feel better. Okay. And he wants to do it, he or she wants to do it live on a podcast. Yes. But also, to add a little bit of fun to it, you can have the option at the end to forgive them Ooh. or not. Ooh. So... Firstly, the good thing is, if you email in your golf confession, you're going to feel a little bit better to start with because you've got it off your chest. Yeah. If Rick then says you are forgiven, the golfing God himself, then you can feel, you can, you can die in peace. Wow. If he says that he can't forgive you, then... You're going to get bad breaks. You're going to get bad bounces on the golf course. You're going to lip out more often yeah. than not. If you're forgiven, it's going to go the, the other way. You're going, to, you're going to lip in more. You're going to find your ball when you're not expecting to. You're just in a much better place. Exactly. And ideally, we'd like a variety of different ones. So if you've I'm, got I'm something... I'm about this. So this week, it says... I'm guessing um, these are all anonymous, or not? Yeah, well, yeah, this one's definitely anonymous, but he does say his friend <laughs> listens to the podcast, so... It's definitely anonymous. It says, I've come... And actually, this guy, so the first person has given us the whole idea for this this whole feature. Nice. So um, thank, <laughs> thank you very you. much. You'll know who you are. I've come seeking forgiveness and hope the golfing community don't give me too much hate. Wow. Since lockdown, I've taken up golf alongside a mate and we've been playing much, uh, playing match play rounds ever since. We have rough handicaps using an app and agree to him having nine shots per round. The weekend just gone, with two holes to play, everything was all square. And I made a comment that inadvertently could have been seen as mind games by saying to him, you've got a shot on this hole and not on the next. So you'll probably go into the last hole one up. So he's saying Ooh. almost like you're going to win this hole, you've got a shot. He then said... I see the mind games have started. Go careful with the out, be careful with the out of bounds on the right. So they're having a bit of banter, Ooh. right? He said this knowing that this is where my drive more often than not goes, and sure enough, that's what I did. Okay. Okay. I managed to locate my golf ball that foot on the wrong side of out of bounds. However, I chipped it out and told him that it was in play. Oh my god! Although we did question it if I'd actually found it. Um, he couldn't prove it was. It obviously was his ball. So we said, "Oh no, look, it's my ball, etc." Now I'm fully aware this isn't within the rules. However, he went on to win the hole anyway, and went to the last hole one up. We're quite generous with each other as high handicappers. On the next hole, he should have been three off the tee, but I gave him a mulligan, and he let me carry on when I went out of bounds again on the next hole as well. We halved, and he won the match with both of us hitting our best ever scores on the golf course. So we both left happy with our day's golf. But and there's the but. I felt the need to confess about what I did and to avoid the karma from the golfing gods. Is this an unforgivable act? Every chance he may listen to this, so I'm really sorry, mate. Cheers. (laughs) God, this is like deep, isn't it? It is. Um, Wow, lots lots to unpack. So you can forgive or not. I think I need to have a word for what the opposite to forgive could be. Is it... um, I was going to say forget, but that's kind of the same thing. Sin or... Kind of, but... I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. But well, anyway, we'll work on that. But anyway, so... Wow. What do you think? I mean, lots to unpack. The good mates. Mm-hmm. Seems like they have a lot of matches together. Yeah. Played... High handicappers, not been playing super long. It seems like they've got a relationship where it showed on the 18th hole when he weirdly let his mate take another shot. Was that because he already felt bad, though? Correct. But then he also said his mate then also let him hit a shot out of bounds. Yeah, it's weird. So it, it seems to me like they've got a relationship where they are quite relaxed with the rules, which I like. I don't mind that. If, if you the two of you are together and quite relaxed with the rules and you might say, oh, don't worry, mate. I know it, it landed somewhere here. Just drop one down and just carry on playing. If that was if that was how they want to play golf, as long mm. as it's not a big competition and not swindling anyone else out of any prizes or whatever it may be. So I, I find that okay. The bit I don't find okay is the fact that didn't happen on this occasion on the 17th hole. His golf ball went out of bounds. He know it did one foot out of bounds. And it's the most annoying thing in the world when your golf ball only goes just out of bounds. It is. It's horrendous. 
but it went out of bounds and there was no communication with his playing partner to say hey john my ball's gone out of bounds here pal what should i do and his, his mate might have gone i'll oh, just play it don't worry you know yeah he might have said that and that's fa- that's fair if that's how they want to play but that's not what happened yes he lost a hole good yes he did he lose the match yes good <laughs> you deserve that um so the we're going to call it forgive or convict Oh, nice. Um, <clears throat> for your single act on the 17th hole, when you knowingly your, your ball went out of bounds, unfortunately, you are going to have to live with a life of bad bounces and lip outs. Yeah. Convict you yeah. To, a, to a lifetime of golf god misery. Well, I'm also going to, I'm, I'm also going to jump in on this because I want to convict him as well, but I'm going to give him six months of the shanks. So Ooh. that should teach you. If you can, you can go lifetime. Does this feel like just before? Because it's new. We're just finding our feet. Is it a lifetime? No, no. I think it's a it's a lifetime of. No, it's not a lifetime. It's a year <laughs> of bad bounces. Yeah, I like that. So every time he's playing panic, and and on the flip side, his mate gets a year of good bounces. Yeah, on the 9th of November, twenty twenty two, his conviction will be spent. If that's the right phrase. Yeah, served. Yeah. Um, 